Well, I like the name, first of all, Impact BH. You know, it's, you're impacting people's lives. You know, um, when you think about people that work in this field and the need, the need is uh, for people to have passion, you know, to care for people. Because when you're dealing with people that are, are broken, it's, it's very difficult to reach them. And they got to be able to know that they can trust you. So I thought it was important for me to come and uh, just b deliver a message that I'm one of those people. You know, I went through two wives and six children like a tornado because of my addiction. I was selfish, I was self-centered, and everything was built around me. You know, I'm a recovering addict. You know, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm a recovering being abused. Um, and it's important for people to know that people do get recovering and get well and they go on into purpose and other people played a big part of helping me get well so uh, I just wanted to make sure that people understood here that they play a big part of helping people get well and going on to have a future in their life. So when you come to places like this and you're part of what this conference is about and you're in this field this is life and death people. I'm not here for a game this is people life on the line that you're dealing with, that you're talking with over the phones or whatever it may be, their life is on the line. There's so many pathways uh, for recovery and we just have to use them all. You know, sometimes people think, well, if you're not in um, NA or AA, a program, uh, you can't get well. I got well through Christ. I got well through church. So um, we should not discriminate on anything. We should, we, whatever works for a person, that's my suggestion, do it.